Yo, guys, I got a fucking couple jokes for to run by you real quick. All right, dude. Check this shit out, though. All right, I need a little more time, man. Let me get about a couple minutes on the clock, dude. Thanks, dude. Yeah, we're going to clown hard right here. All right, check these motherfuckers out. These are either hit and a miss, dude. Maybe a hit or maybe a miss. Here we go. Someone attacked me last night with a bat. Oh, God. Hey, I was really impressed how well they had a train. I mean, this clown is tired. Why? I moved out and fucked my shit up. Fucking clown it, did you know what I mean? <laughs> Hell yeah, that. Yo, man, I was on the beach the other day, man, down by the ocean. And I saw a man earlier today on the beach shouting, Help, shark, help. <laughs> And it made me think, laugh. I said, God damn it, there's no way that shark's gonna go up and help that motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, man, you clown it now. Thank you. <laughs> Holy shit. Yo, dude, check this shit out, though. Why did the worker on the egg farm get fired from his job? I don't know. Because he had a crack addiction, though. <laughs> we clown it, though, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, that shit is crazy, though. <laughs> it sure is. Crazy, sure dog. Is. Showing up, motherfucker, showing up. God damn, man. Where you get these jokes at, though? That shit is tight. Yo, dude, last week I bought a chinchilla, dude. A chinchilla. Hopefully it'll keep my chin. If you don't know what a chinchilla is, is, it's like a little uh, hamster almost. <laughs> That's what it is. God damn it. Got him. We got jokes, dude. I think right, I'm about to get up here and tell a joke. I went to a pet zoo last week. There was only one dog, though. It was a real shit zoo. <laughs> Yo, man, you crazy as hell, though. You know that. All right, though. What has four legs that says boo? A cow with a cold. <laughs> God damn it. No, I think it was behind his ear, actually. I'm like, how the fuck do you get a sun? All right, we're about to do it. Let's do it. Behind your fucking. How's everybody doing tonight? Hope you're all doing great. I'm just gonna tell a short story here. Yeah. I might need a little bit more time. Maybe five minutes, maybe. Just maybe. But uh, so who's got PTSD? I got a small case of it. <laughs> break it out when I drink my beer. Well, sorry. I thought that would be a great icebreaker. To start it off, I don't got it, if that's what you're thinking. Do you know that the two biggest fears in stand-up comedy is public speaking and dying? So you know what I say to those people that think that? Why not both? But honestly... Your first time on stage, or my first time on stage, you don't know how to stand. You don't know how to act. You don't know what to say. You're covered in sweat. And you have a big black thing in your mouth. And with your luck, your uncle's watching. Like a penis? Whichever way you want to take it. <laughs> <laughs> what my question is what do you call a female rapper what? 77 cent oh that's a that's a woman right there mm-hmm but you know as I get older <clears throat> I remember all the people I lost along the way maybe a career as a tour guy was not the right choice honestly But honestly, has, has anyone ever worked at a grocery store part-time or whatever? Yeah. Well, if you haven't, you're not missing out. Because let me tell you, them managers think they know everything. And when I mean everything, I mean everything. Okay? Now, first off, so last Friday night, I was stocking. And pretty much what happened was, is that this manager, it, you know, I was telling my friend, I was like, you know, 
<clears throat> come 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning, you know, that manager, he'll come in the front because he'll want to leave real soon. So that's what happened. He comes in the front. I predicted it. <clears throat> Before I know is, I see this dude take off his shirt. Now, when you think a manager would be very professional, even after closing. But no, he was not professional. This dude takes off his shirt. <clears throat> and what what is your first... What is your first reaction when someone's coming at you with the shirt off? You think they're going to fight you. So here's me. I'm getting ready to fight this dude. And I'm busting out laughing, really. Because I'm kind of I'm kind of built. I, I I mean, I was more built than he was. I was more built than this dude, okay? Yeah, dude. He whips out his goddamn 12-pack beer stomach and shit. Looks like he drank a fucking gallon. <laughs> Hey. hey, the issue is, the issue is, the issue is, is that this dude, he looked like a damn, he looked like a damn Jew from, from the Nazi camp, okay? I literally saw his skin on his bones, like this dude literally had no, he literally had no skin. Almost. I mean, literally, he just got done from, uh, from cancer. First of all, he don't have no balls because he had to get them cut off. All I know is, is, is that this dude takes off his shirt, right? He, he starts kicking boxes, and he says, clean this shit up. And I said, man, I'm about to leave out this place, and you can kiss your balls goodbye. Oh, wait, they're already gone. But... Anyways, what do you call a black and white couple? What? A zebra. Does that sound retard? <laughs> he did not flesh me. <laughs> oh my god. Big tough reason. But uh, I'm going to step off stage and. I'll come back up in a few minutes. Why does he keep leaving? Testing one, two, three. Testing one thing. One, two, three. I want. I wanna play I, your I part. I wanna become part. one of your love. One of your love. They don't know where we're going. They don't know where we're going. Because I'm already gone. Because I'm already gone. I remember going out. Remember going out. And taking your love. And taking your love. They call me a they call me a person with a white vein. And I take you out. And I take you out.